Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can catch Jigglypuff relatively early on in the Gen 1 Pokemon games. Then of course, if you want, you can evolve the Jigglypuff into Wigglytuff using a Moonstone that you find in Mount Moon. So as you can see, I'm currently in Pewter City, right at the Pokemon Center, and Route 3 is to the east. So... After you defeat Brock, you're going to get access to Route 3. You go through, there's a number of trainers that you're going to battle that are along Route 3 before you get to Mount Moon. But there's also a couple of different wild Pokemon areas that you can catch Jigglypuff in. It's an encounter rate of about 10%, and you can get Jigglypuff at levels 3, 5, or 7 in those wild encounters. So I'm going to skip ahead to when I actually encounter a Jigglypuff. All right, guys, so this is about my 12th encounter, and I was finally able to run into a Jigglypuff, and it happens to be level 7. Like I said, they will show up at levels 3, 5, and 7 on Route 3. So I'm going to go ahead and chuck a Pokeball at it. And you're probably going to want to damage, especially if it's a level 7 Jigglypuff, at least a little bit before throwing a Pokeball at it. So we'll do a Tackle here. And of course, be a little bit careful when you're catching a Jigglypuff. It can put a lot of your Pokemon to sleep. Maybe have some awakenings if you're worried about that working your way through the game. But now that the Jigglypuff is damaged, I'm going to go ahead and throw another Pokeball at it. And a Jigglypuff was caught. So not the highest encounter rate at just 10%, but not quite as bad as, for instance, catching Pikachu in Viridian Forest a little bit earlier on. Uh, and that's how you go about getting Jigglypuff on Route 3 early game in Gen 1. And of course, you can evolve that Jigglypuff into Wigglytuff pretty early as well once you get the Moonstone in Mount Moon, which is the next thing that you head into. After Route 3, you head into Route 4, where the Pokemon Center is, and then you head into Mount Moon. So I appreciate you guys stopping by for this tutorial. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll catch you back here next time.